Today, I'm gonna to talk about four pain points in functional safety projects that I have experienced. These pain points often come in uh, projects and we need to be aware of them. It's gonna help you if you're aware of them. So the first pain point that I've seen is changes in ASL assignment too late in the project. For example, there was this project where we were working throughout the project life cycle at an ASIL B level. However, late sample B or early sample C phase, there was a change request from the OEM that we have to re-engineer everything to comply with ASIL C. Now the problem was we ahead with our development and the K matrix, the format of the messages in the can, everything was fixed. And worst of all, it was too late also for the OEM to change anything in the can. This was very, very painful. We had to discover ways that was not going anywhere to ASIL C. So this kind of change request when they come too late, this is extremely painful and sometimes it's really, really hard to comply the ASIL goals. The second pain point that I'm gonna talk about is over engineering. It's often the case in issue development projects that you over-engineer your ASIL requirement. One component or ECU could well satisfy the vehicle level safety goals with ASIL A, but they're often assigned ASIL B or even C ASIL levels. It is often the case that we ask our clients why it is ASIL B or C or higher. It's not very uncommon that we do not get a technical answer and the answer is usually this is historical or this is the requirement and you have to comply with it. We understand and we respect the requirement, but in order to give a very solid technical service, we need to know the technical reasons. So over-engineering is another problem that you should be aware of and we can reduce cost and satisfy the vehicle level safety goals without any hurdle if we optimize at this point. The third pain point that I've experienced is undiscovered gaps in your project. Throughout the project life cycle, it often happens that there are certain gaps that we don't even discover. I was talking to this gentleman the other day and he has designed test cases in order to demonstrate safety requirements. However, this gentleman was not able to find requirements that corresponds to those test cases. So there are two ways that he could approach, that's what I advised him. He could either go all the way to the customer requirements and try and search anything that relates to safety and try and trickle down if there's a traceability that can be mapped to his test cases, or he could go to the code level and try and see where those functionalities are coming from. And the gentleman failed. So there's obviously a gap that was not discovered and the project is in the late C sample, it's about to go to SOP. And the worst of all, sometimes the management are in denial of such gaps. The final and the fourth pain point that I'm gonna to talk to you about is the SOS call for functional safety experts in the 11th hour of the project. They call us too late. They expect us to come and solve their problems when this is way too late in the development cycle. I'll tell you what, we do not have a time machine that we can go back in time and fix the problems that's been happening for years now. Second, there are certain things that are not changeable anymore. It is not possible to change the K matrix, for example. It is not possible to change the hardware architecture or create some hardware redundancy to satisfy your safety goals. So these are the problems that I often see in projects and I think, in my opinion, we can easily avoid them if we're aware of them from the beginning of the project. Thank you for watching. This was Hassan Akram. If you've liked the video, please share it with your peers and write comments below. I'll be happy to get in touch with you.